Hello everybody, my name is Annie Deadman. Welcome to another Dumbbell Hit Workout. This is mainly based on upper body and core with a little bit of cardio at the end. Don't need to worry about anything. Let's warm up. Come on all fours. Make sure your knees are underneath your hips. And I want you to turn the fingers of the left hand in like that. Now dive through that gap. And open up. And again, dive through that gap. Stretch out. Get some nice rotation and open up. One more this side. Reach through and open up. Other side. Fingers of the right hand turned in. Dive through. Stretch. And then rotate. Two more. One. And up. And again. And up. Wonderful. Now come into a high plank. So just take your hands underneath your shoulders, slide the shoulders down. All I want you to do is just little taps like that. Try not to raise your hips. Keep your hips low. Tap, tap. Body absolutely still. Just keep tapping. We're going to do two more, then lift the hips up. Here we go. Lift the hips up into a down dog and then walk the hands back all the way up, roll up slowly, take your feet wide and just give me five squats, one, two, we're only using the lower body at the end, three, but we're going to just warm up the whole body, four, five, keep your feet wide, walk out, go into that high plank again and a little shoulder tap, so your job is to not roll your pelvis, so just tap, you can put your knees on the floor if you need to, otherwise just tap, Shoulders, squeeze your glutes to support that lower back. Two more taps. One, two. Lift your hips up. Walk the hands back. Give me five more squats. One, two, three, four, five. Roll down. Now give me ten slow climbers, so like little knee drives. So one leg at a time, driving the knee. Three, Five, six, eight, nine, ten. Lift your hips up, walk the hands back. This time, little forward lunges. Now, I want you to do a twist over the front knee. Rotate, and again, twist. One more. Okay, back on the floor. We're going to do press ups, just warm up press ups. But I want you to put your knees on the floor, give me one press up, and then you're going to lift your knees off and touch your shin. Now this will be one of the moves. So I'm just getting you familiar with it. If you can, do it with your knees off the floor. So you'll be doing one press up, come up, and then up. It's a little bit more dynamic than just doing press ups because we can do a lot of work on your shoulders. Okay, just come into the high plank, take the right foot by the right hand, open up that hip, rotate again, back down, come into your down dog, stretch the calves, left foot, left hand, <sighs> open up, back, down dog again, one more time each side, push, open, back, lift up, and again. Wonderful. Drop the knees. Sit back on the heels. Okay. Show you what we're going to start with. We're going to do a tricep press, then tricep extensions, and then we're going to roll over and do our press up into, into the down dog. So grab your weights and just watch. We're going to do each exercise for 45 seconds, so there'll only be 15 seconds rest in between, and there's three sets. A tricep press. When you've done a chest press, your knuckles are facing behind you, you're going to do a tricep press with your elbows <clears throat> skimming your ribcage like that. Then you're going to go pretty much straight from there with a little 15 second rest, pretty much straight from there into your tricep extensions. Then you put your weights down and we'll roll over the press ups. Okay, 45 seconds. So get your position right. If you want to give your glutes a little bit of work at the same time, you can lift your hips. So, elbows by your side. And we're going to push up in three, two, one. Here we go. 
lift. So you're just driving up and make sure that your upper arm touches your rib cage as you come down. So this is isolating, you'll feel it in the shoulders, it'll be big, big noise in your triceps, especially after the extensions which are coming next. If you find it too much, just get a lighter weight, just press pause and go and get a lighter weight. So this is, I feel this is quite challenging with four kilos in each hand. Lift, push, we're nearly there, we've got about seven seconds. Okay, just rest while you watch. Your arms are up here and you're going to drop them down by your ear. If you find that too much, you're just going to hold on to one dumbbell and bring it over the top of your head. Ready? In three, two, one. Let's go. So, and I want you to tense your arms at the end of it. So the upper arm never moves. See that elbow is above the shoulder. It never moves. And you're just squeezing and lifting. And I want you to tense so that your arm is straight at the end of the move. Can you feel that? I can. This is going to be interesting doing three sets. We may have to drop weight a little bit at the end. Right, you've got 15 seconds left, everybody. And then we're going to put the weights down. But concentrate on this. Come on. Woo. Lift. Last rep. Up. Well done. So, weights down. Roll over. Get your hand position ready for your press up. I'm going to try and do them with the knees off the floor. You're going to do one press up and come up into a, into a down dog. Three, two, one. One press up. Then you come up. Touch the shin. So go nice and slow, this isn't fast. Just do the hardest that you can do. Try not to dodge it. All the way down. So it's tough on the shoulders and the triceps. Remember you've worked those two already. Might need to put my knees down. Chest to the floor, then you can lift your knees up to go into your little down dog. Five seconds, everybody. Perfect, knees down, elbows diagonally behind you. Last rep, well done. Okay, that's one set done. You get 30 seconds rest, there's about 20 seconds left now. Uh, and then we're gonna start again. So, get ready for your tricep press. Roll over, grab your weights. We're going in 10 seconds time. Pushing up, don't let the elbows flare out, okay? We've got to try and isolate the triceps. Three, two, one. Ugh. Do you feel, feel that already? Ooh. So this is a nice calm workout where you can really concentrate on your technique. It gets a bit fruity towards the end, but we're not going to think about that. We're just working on our upper body muscles at the moment. Well done everybody. We've got less than 20 left. Lift. Perfect. Come on. Drive. Up. Seven seconds. Elbows in. Last rep. Okay, bring them down. Now, you need to rest them because we've got the horrible tricep extensions left. And we're going in six seconds. Might have to change weight halfway through and go down to one dumbbell. Here we go. Three, two, one. Uh, come on, lift. Come on. Feel those triceps burning. Straighten the arm at the end, Deadman. How long have we got? 12 seconds. Come on, try not to let your spine arch. Use those stomach muscles. Keep the elbow above the shoulder. 
Last rep, done. Weights down, roll over onto your front. Get your hand position ready. Less than 10 seconds. One press up, one shin touch. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. One, come up, go across the diagonal. That's it, keep your body absolutely still. If you find the press ups hard, good. Oh, I'm finding these very hard. Oh. Uh. That's it, come on. Aim the chest of the floor. If you're only getting down an inch, then put your knees on the floor, drop down and you can go further, and then lift your knees up for the down dog. Oh. 10 seconds. Come on. Faltering. One more, one more. Sit back on your knees. Stretch out your arms and rest. We've got 30 seconds rest. And then we're going again for the final set. So, roll over, grab your weights. Okay, we've got 10 seconds now. Come on everybody, grit your teeth. Really push, even if you're finding the last couple of reps really hard, just try and push through them. Three, two, one, elbows in, let's go. Up, drive. So the combination of these two tricep exercises is pretty lethal. Drive it up, keep the neck nice and long, abs tight, done. Okay, you get 15 seconds rest. No, you don't. We've got another 10 seconds, Deadman. <sighs> Sorry, I was thinking we were stopping. <sighs> Nearly there. <sighs> done. Okay, rest everybody. I'm gonna dump one dumbbell for the next one. Oh, my shoulders will drop off. Three seconds, two seconds, one. Let's go. One. So because I've got a lighter weight, I'm going to actually go faster. That's it. Come on. Lift. If you're still staying with your two dumbbells, please stay with them. Ignore what I'm doing. Tiring. Lift. 20 seconds. Phew wee! Lift. That's it. Come on, crunch. Squeeze. Straighten that arm at the end of it. We're nearly there. Uh, three, two, last rep. Done. Goodness, that's over. Put the weight down. Roll over, get rid of your press ups. Okay, so you've got. 45 seconds of press ups with your one press up, one shin touch. Three, two, one. Let's go. Up again. Ooh, that is a nice challenge. Up. So try not to bob up and down. Good slow press ups. Try and breathe in on the down, out on the up. floor now, up, and then knees off, back down, where are we, oh, we've got 10 seconds, uh, come on, drive, oh, done, whoop, whoop. okay, watch the neck and the second set, so we've got a bent over row, a shoulder press, and then bicep curls, so bent over row, you could actually get a lot higher than four kilos. So get something super heavy. You're in this position and you're going to go. So quite fast on the up, slower on the down, and you're bringing your hands to your hips, not to your armpits. And then you're going to do a shoulder press, lift. Actually, we're going to do that on the floor, on our knees. 
to make it harder. And then you're going to do bicep curls. Ready? Bent over row. We're going to go in 10 seconds time. The thing about a bent over row is the back position is crucial, so your back is nice and straight. Your legs are bent, so your glutes are slightly switched on. And you're trying to poke your bottom out through the top window. Let's go. Three sets of this, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. So explode up, have a little pause at the top, and then slower down. Elbows in, so the movement is coming from you squeezing your shoulder blades together. That's it, so as soon as they're up here, don't let them collapse down. Try and keep them up there for a little bit. 20 seconds left. Abs nice and tight. Perfect. 10 seconds. Here we go. One more rep. Perfect. A shoulder press on your knees is slightly more challenging than standing up, but if you want to do it standing up, do. So all you're going to do is hold them here and go one. Again, slightly more exploding on the up, slower on the down. Three, two, one. Up. Now if you feel it during the course of this and you're on your knees, if you feel it in your lower back a little bit, just bring one foot out, just relieves it a little bit. I'm bringing the dumbbells to touch the shoulder, driving out, so I'm getting a little bit of action on the lats and the, uh, uh, your upper back. 20 seconds. Lift. And then we're going to do Lovely bicep curls, and I want you to really listen to the technique on those bicep curls. Lift, 10 seconds. Come on. Tighten. One more rep. Okay. Come back to standing if you were on your knees and your palms are open. Your elbows are glued to your rib cage and your upper arm, and you're not moving your wrist flexors. Again, faster up, slower on the down, up. Squeeze. I want you to tense your tricep there so that you know that your arm is straight. So you're using the whole length of your bicep to bring it up. Tighten the stomach muscles. If you're flicking your elbows out, it may mean that your weight's a little bit heavy and you're trying to bring in some other muscles. Try not to. We're isolating the bicep here. So this is back, bicep, shoulders. Seven seconds. And then we're gonna have 30 seconds rest just to loosen them off. One more. Weights down, just shake your arms off. Have a sip of water. Shake the arms off, we're gonna go again in about 20 seconds time. Remember with the row, you could have double weight because it's your upper back, the movement is coming from doing that. It's your upper back that are bringing the weights up. Okay, ready, eight seconds, get ready. Position set, so your feet hip distance apart, hips out behind you. Try not to be like that. Go. 45 seconds again, with 15 seconds rest. So it's not a lot of rest, but you're using some big muscle groups, so you'll be feeling hot. And remember, for a workout to be good, you don't have to be jumping about doing mad things, okay? You don't have to be jumping and doing those squat jumps. You are working on your muscles, so you're strong, your joints are supported, and your metabolic rate rises. Keep squeezing those shoulder blades together. For 10 seconds. Come on, lift. One more. on your knees, if you're going on your knees, we're back to our shoulder press. 10 seconds. Shoulders down and we're lifting up. Remember, bring that knee forward if you feel it in your lower back. Three, two, one. That's good, come up, come up. Drive. That's good. So if you're finding it difficult to do both arms at once, then just do one arm. Up. 
If you get to the end of this 45 seconds and you think, hmm, it's all right, you're probably not holding enough weight, we've got 15 seconds left. Up. Come on. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Last one. Perfect. Okay, this time I'm going to do a hammer curl. So your knuckles were like that before, behind you. This time they're going to be out to the side. Shoulder blades are back and down. Upper arm still glued. Let's go. And you can actually do these a little bit faster. Tense the tricep at the end. So don't finish there. Finish there. You'll need to keep those stomach muscles in to brace your lower back and try not to move your body, okay? You're just isolating the arms. It's getting tough. Don't forget, grimacing, making funny faces, grunting. It's all compulsory. So when it gets hard, you want to flick out your elbows like that. Try not to. Right, I'm going to do two more. One. Two. Weights down. Rest. We're going in. 25 seconds time. We're going to do a third and final set. And then we're going to do a bit of core. With a bit of cardio. Don't worry about anything. Okay, bent over row. 10 seconds to get into position. Knees bent. Back nice and straight. Remember you're bringing your weights to your hip. Let's go. About 15 seconds left. Ooh. Lift. <clears throat> 10 seconds. <sighs> Up. Perfect. <sighs> One more. Up. Perfect. On the floor. <sighs> okay, we're doing something slightly different this time. Both arms up. Here we go. Five reps. One, two, three, four, five. Change. One, two, three, four, five. Change. One. We're doing it twice. Don't worry. Two, three, four. Five. Come on, last set. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. Get a little bit of extra rest there. Okay. Bice uh, biceps. We're going to go all the way up. Five reps. Half reps here. Half reps here. We're going to have a few little holes in between. Ready. Hold, your knuckles are facing uh, behind you. Five reps. Let's go. One. Two. All the way up, all the way down. Three. Four. Five. Now you're going to go from the bottom to halfway. One. Two. Three. Four. I know. Five. Hold it there. Four. Three, two, one, halfway, one, two, so top half now, three, four, five, hold it there for five seconds, hold it, three, two, one, all the way up, all the way down for five, uh, two, three, Woo. four, squeeze your glutes, come on, five, Weights down. Well done. Shake it out. Have a sip of water. And let's go on to core. 
Right, on your mat, here we go. You're going to do one, two, three, four core exercises and then you're going to do burpees. Okay, I'll show you what the core exercises are. Normal crunches, then you're going to do a double, so normal crunches like this, then you're going to do a double crunch, which is you coming up and your legs coming up at the same time. So, if you find that difficult on your lower back, you're going to do a single leg. Uh, then you're going to keep your feet on the floor, heel touch, and then you're going to roll over and do oblique climbers. All of those are for 20 seconds each, with about 5 seconds in between for you to collect yourself and get into the right position. Then you're going to do burpees. You have various options for burpees. You can go... Or you can just go out, out, jump them in, stand up. Okay, those two. And there'll be a number of reps that you have to go. All right, don't worry about those. It gets progressively harder as we go on. But we're only doing three sets. So, 20 seconds of crunches. Let's do it. So you're pushing your rib cage towards your hips and you're breathing out as you come up and pulling the navel in. Don't worry about coming up too high. All you've got to do is keep your uh, uh, shoulder blades off the floor. Rest. You're going to do a double crunch now. So the whole weight of your legs, bringing them in the air, you're using your abs to do that. If you want to do single leg, do that. Big, dramatic out breaths. We like that. Nearly there. One more rep. Feet down. Keep them away from you. You're going to go into heel touch in three, two, one. One hand behind the head. Reach towards the outside of the ankle. Keep your knees still. Do not let them sway. Shoulder blades are off the floor. Can you hear my voice fading? Ah, five seconds. This is a lethal combo. Done. Roll over. We're going into oblique climbers in three, two, one. Let's go. So drive the knees. Come on. Tuck the knee right up towards the opposite wrist. Give me that twist. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. You're going to do four burpees all for the time that I do them. Three seconds, two seconds, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Back on the floor, crunches. Feet down, hands behind the head, let's go. Not much rest. Rib cage. That's it. Come on. Crush. This is such a good one. Rest. Double crunch. Three seconds. Two seconds. One. Let your heels land where they started. Okay, so no flapping of that lower leg. Push the ribs towards the hips. Big exhale. Use your stomach muscles, try not to depend on your hip flexors. One more rep. Heel touch. Three, two, one. Reach right down so the shoulder blades are off the floor the whole time. Oh. Oh. Come on. Reach. Reach. Push. We're feeling it. One, two, roll over. Oblique climbers in three, two, one. Go, man, go. Come on. Back nice and flat. Head beyond your hands. Get some speed up. Come on, come on. Come on. Nearly there, nearly there. Five seconds. Four, 
three, two, done. Five seconds, we're adding four on. Eight burpees, three, two, one. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, come on. Five, you go for as long as I am. Eight, on the floor, back to your crunches. Hands behind the head. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. It's biting in there, isn't it? Lift. It's that I blame those double crunches, followed by the heel touch. Are you puffing? Good! Come on. Hollow the navel, lift. Double crunches, three, two, one, go. So the elbows stay still, don't let them flap. Remember if it's too much, your abs will be getting tired and your back will want to start working. You just use single leg. Oh, last one. Heel touch. This is the last round, people, so give it everything you've got. Reach. Oh. Come on. Get down towards those ankles. Oh. Push. Oh. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Roll over. We've got 20 seconds of a big climbers. Go, come on, twist, back nice and flat, abs tight, shoulder girdle still, head messy, <laughs> we don't care about our hair, come on, Woo. drive, Woo. three, two, one, we're adding four, 12 burpees, then we are done, three, two, one, go. One, two, come on. Woo. Okay, this is five. This is six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. Well done, everybody. Don't go. We're going to have a little stretch. So just tap your feet out while you're giving your breath back. Oh, amazing, everybody. Well done if you join me on that. Come on the floor. Have a lovely stretch. your legs out and tuck your left knee in towards your chest. Push the other leg away. And then you're going to use the opposite hand. Bring that knee across and reach out and look at that hand so you get the rotation here. Excellent. Come back up. Tuck the other knee in. Just It's all well, just your Heart rate is going down. Bring that knee across the body. So get, do your best to get your knee as far towards the floor as possible. Take this arm out, turn and look at it so you get the rotation. Press down for five, four, three, two, one. Bring that leg back. Come up on your knees. And I want you to just do a tricep stretch. So one arm down your back. Push your fingers down your back like that. And the other side. Just to stretch out your triceps. And then if you can go to a flat surface, a wall or a door, and put one arm like that. And then push your shoulder towards the wall and turn away from it. You're going to stretch your front of your shoulder, your chest and your bicep. 
other side. So make sure your hand is level with your shoulder. Push your shoulder towards the wall, turn away from it. You get a nice stretch there. Wonderful. Just separate your upper back, your sh uh, shoulder blades, and push forwards. And we're going to give the hamstrings a stretch because we like to do that at the end of a session. Toes down, hips out behind you. Come back up, toes down, hips out behind you again, so you feel a nice stretch down the back of the legs. And you are good to go. Well done, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. See you again very soon.